to Middle Ground Media, where news is delivered without an agenda. In today's coverage, 1. Khan's party shocks in Pakistan elections. In a stunning turn of events, Imran Khan's party emerged victorious in most seats in Pakistan's parliamentary elections, defying the military's attempts to suppress its support and overturning political forecasts. This unprecedented outcome has ignited a political crisis, with Khan's supporters, fueled by accusations of election rigging and widespread irregularities, taking to the streets in protest. Despite the potential for forming a coalition, there's palpable tension as the military's preferred party, led by Nawaz Sharif, seeks ways to assert control. This electoral shockwave pressures General Syed Asim Munir to navigate a delicate political landscape potentially reconciling with Khan or endorsing a fragile opposition coalition. From behind bars, Khan leveraged AI technology to galvanize a digital-savvy youth, marking a pivotal moment in Pakistan's political evolution. 2. Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl Triumph The Kansas City Chiefs clinched their third Super Bowl victory in five years, overcoming the San Francisco 49ers in a thrilling overtime match, ending 25-22. This historic win at the first Super Bowl hosted in Las Vegas solidifies the Chiefs as the first NFL dynasty, since the New England Patriots. Patrick Mahomes' pivotal role, alongside Andy Reid's strategic coaching, propelled the team to a consecutive title win, placing Mahomes among the elite quarterbacks with three Super Bowl victories. Despite a defense-dominated game, Mahomes' leadership in crucial moments including a game-tying field goal and a winning touchdown pass to Nicole Hardman, showcased his exceptional talent and resilience, further intensifying the legacy of the Kansas City Chiefs. 3. Alexander Stubb elected Finland's president Alexander Stubb, Finland's conservative ex-prime minister, won the presidential election with a focus on a hard-line stance towards Russia. Securing 51.6% of the vote against Green Party's Pekka Havisto. Stubbs' victory comes at a critical time as Finland integrates into NATO, amidst escalating tensions with Russia. Stubbs' election symbolizes Finland's commitment to bolstering its security and international alliances in response to the geopolitical shifts in Europe triggered by Russia's aggression in Ukraine. His presidency is poised to navigate Finland through challenging diplomatic waters, emphasizing the need for steadfastness in foreign policy and defense underscoring the country's resolve in facing contemporary security threats. 4. Qatar frees ex-Indian Navy officers In a significant development, a Qatari court released eight former Indian Navy officers previously sentenced to death on undisclosed charges. Seven have already returned to India, marking a pivotal moment in the diplomatic relations between Qatar and India. The charges, speculated to involve espionage for Israel, remained under wraps highlighting the complex nature of international legal disputes. India's diplomatic efforts, combined with Qatar's decision, underscore the delicate balance of justice and diplomatic engagement, offering a glimpse into the intricate dynamics of international relations and the potential for resolution through dialogue and cooperation. 5. Ukraine's new army chief outlines goals. Colonel General Oleksandr Sersky, Ukraine's newly appointed military chief, outlined his immediate goals amidst the ongoing conflict with Russia. Prioritizing troop rotation and the integration of advanced technology, Sersky's strategy signals a shift towards revitalizing Ukraine's defensive and offensive capabilities. His appointment by President Zelensky aims to bring a fresh perspective to the battlefield, addressing critical challenges such as manpower shortages and the need for Western weaponry. Sersky's focus on detailed planning and troop welfare reflects an adaptive approach to the prolonged conflict, emphasizing the importance of innovation and resilience in Ukraine's military strategy. 6. Marathon world record holder Kelvin Kiptum dies in crash. Kelvin Kiptum, the marathon world record holder, tragically died in a car crash in Kenya at the age of 24, along with his coach. Kipton's recent world record, ratified by World Athletics, marked him as a future star of long-distance running. His untimely death not only represents a significant loss to the athletic community, but also highlights the recurring issue of road safety in Kenya, a country that has witnessed the deaths of numerous top runners in similar accidents. Kipton's legacy, characterized by his record-breaking performance and promising career, leaves a profound impact on the world of athletics and raises awareness about the critical need for improved road safety measures. 7. 
Hungary's president resigns amid pardon scandal. Hungary's president Kotalin Novak resigned following public outcry over her pardon of a man convicted in a child sexual abuse case. This unexpected political scandal challenges the long-standing nationalist government, sparking a widespread debate on the use of presidential pardons and the accountability of public officials. Novak's televised resignation underscores the societal demand for transparency and justice, especially in sensitive cases involving child protection. Her departure from office marks a significant moment in Hungarian politics, reflecting the power of public opinion in shaping political accountability and ethical governance. 8. Sudan's Child Displacement Crisis UNICEF has declared the civil war in Sudan as the world's largest child displacement crisis with millions of children facing malnutrition amid ongoing conflict. This dire situation underscores the urgent need for international support and unimpeded humanitarian access to alleviate the suffering of Sudanese children. The conflict's devastating impact on the youngest and most vulnerable highlights the critical importance of global solidarity and immediate action to prevent a catastrophic loss of life. As Sudan grapples with this unprecedented crisis, the international community's response will be pivotal in addressing the immediate needs and securing a future for the millions of children at risk. 9. Russian drones attack Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. A devastating drone attack by Russian forces on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv resulted in the death of seven individuals, including three children. This assault not only caused significant infrastructure damage and ignited fires but also highlighted the ongoing humanitarian crisis in the region. The international condemnation of such attacks underscores the urgent need for a cessation of hostilities and a return to diplomatic negotiations to resolve the conflict. As Ukraine continues to defend its sovereignty, the global community remains focused on supporting civilian protection and seeking a peaceful resolution to the war. Thank you for tuning into Middle Ground Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unbiased news. Join us again tomorrow for your daily dose of truth and clarity.